Could Tyree Wilson be leaving Las Vegas? Coming up here on today's show, we're going to be looking at some Raiders surprise cut candidates. The key word there is surprise. And for anybody out there who's like, Mitch, there's no way that the Raiders are going to move on from Tyree Wilson. I said the same thing about Alex Leatherwood. But sometimes new regimes, they're trying to move in a different direction. If a player's not picking up what you're putting down, then they end up just kind of getting cut and moving away. So coming up here on today's show, we are looking at surprise cut candidates and the cut down day, August 27th at 4 p.m. Eastern time. So the Raiders got to get their roster right now down to 53 players, technically 54, David Agoa, International Pathway Program player. But none of the starters are going to be going up against the San Francisco 49ers. And this is going to be a make or break play or make or break week for these five guys. If these five players don't end up playing on, on Friday, then you know what? Then they're probably not going to get cut. Any player that does not play on that Friday preseason game is a lock to make the Raiders 53. Man, if they end up playing in that game on Friday, I would say that the Raiders are still just trying to evaluate them just a little bit. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the Raiders Report. We're going up against the 49ers Report this week in a Super Chat subscriber battle. And quite frankly, if you don't subscribe to the Raiders Report, you probably like getting bang bang by the Niner gang. If you are sub to the Raiders Report, can I get a Raiders? So coming up here, we're going to go from five all the way down to one, and we're going to be looking at those surprise cut candidates, and it's ranked based on how surprised the nation would be if they were going to get cut. So five, the least surprising one would be the most surprising. I got Chris Smith coming up here as a safety, and Smith has been a player that I've talked about multiple, multiple times of somebody that might not end up making this team. If cut by the silver and black, it's going to save the Raiders $915,000. you are only going to eat 61 k so it's not a lot of money. The Raiders did draft Trey Taylor. However, he is battling a knee injury right now, so... That could potentially help out a player like Smith. But we also got to consider the fact that Jaden Grant has been getting some hype. Max Crosby has hyped up Jaden Grant. Grant, in that first preseason game against the Vikings, actually played over Chris Smith. So, like, I look at Jaden as being a sleeper type of player. Remember when Isaiah Paul Mal ended up making the Raiders 53-man roster and we were all kind of like, oh, wow. That's kind of shocking. I think that that could be a Jaden Grant this upcoming season. Also, all 22 defensive snaps came in that Chargers blowout last season. On top of that, his special teams usage decreased when Antonio Pierce ended up taking over. And if I'm this new regime, not that I'm trying to get rid of everybody from the old regime, but I am looking at this regime going, all right, how can I improve? Where can I get better? And is this guy making me better? And am I willing to invest all my time and effort into somebody that was drafted by a previous regime? If Chris Smith's going out there and he's dominating and he's doing all this amazing stuff, then, yeah, we're not having this conversation. I will admit, every time I talk about Chris Smith, I played baseball with a guy named Chris. Shout out to Smitty. Uh, my aunt's named Chris Smith, and I also have a friend whose name's Chris Smith. So, like, this is the most common name maybe ever in my life. Let's go to number four here. Chugs hates me for this. But I got to put Jalen Guyton on the list of surprise cut candidates coming in here at number four. The Raiders released their new depth chart. This was on Monday, August 19th. And Guyton was listed as a fourth string wide receiver. He was listed as a fourth string guy, which you guys can see right here. Him and Ramel Keaton. So, like, maybe, you know, I don't want to overlook a lot of the stuff on this depth chart. And, and, and again, so many things can change. It's only just a depth chart. But, like, you also got to consider the fact that Guyton was signed late after the NFL draft. Yes, he has some ties with Tom Telesco. If the Raiders cut him, though, you're going to save over a million dollars. You're only going to eat 32 k But because he's listed as the fourth guy on the depth chart and because the Raiders like DJ Turner so much because the Raiders like Christian Wilkerson so much. If Guyton ends up making this team, I think it could potentially be as that wide receiver six, though, based on special team value, okay? Special team value, Tulu Griffin was a player that we didn't hear too much about. I've been starting to hear a little bit more about him. He's a guy that all I'm saying is, and I mean is, has a shot to make this team as well as Tulu. So you know Devontae, you know Jacoby, you know Trey Tucker, Wilkerson, DJ Turner. Another sleeper guy to potentially make it is Tyreek McAllister just because of what he's able to do from a special team standpoint. But from top to bottom, Jalen Guyton might be a surprise cut candidate. Coming up here, we still got some more names to get into. 
But we have a lot of awesome sponsors, and one of my favorite sponsors is Game Time. Anytime that you can get a sponsor of a show that you use before they started sponsoring, I think is a win-win. And I hope everybody, when I talk about them, knows how serious I am because y'all know that Chugs and I love being able to go to events. I love Game Time because with killer last-minute deals, the all-in prices and views from your seat, they have those lowest prices guaranteed, and Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets for a Raiders preseason game. Maybe you want to go to a Raiders regular season game. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. So download the Game Time app, create an account, use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code CHATSPORTS. That's C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S. If you don't know how to spell it, it's on screen. It's also on my chest. I'm not... I'm not, I'm not sure you know on it. Uh, download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, that lowest price guarantee. But I love Game Time so much because, like, if I, I'm a visual person, right? So the fact that I can see what it looks like, where I'm going to be sitting, that's really clutch. The other thing that I like is that lowest price guarantee, the seat views, and the all in pricing is something that a lot of people maybe don't know about. But imagine, you know, when you buy a ticket on an app. And then you go to checkout, and all of a sudden it's $80 more because of all the taxes, fees, whatever the hell it is. With game time, you can literally see what that ticket price is going to be when you check out. Like, the, these prices right here, that's what the prices are. It's, it's all in prices right now, which is what you see selected. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't hear what you were saying. Um, again, terms apply, but seriously, use game time for if you plan on going out to a concert. And for people that are planning on going to Vegas... It's the perfect app because there's so much stuff to do in Vegas, man. You could do anything. Literally, you could do anything in Vegas, which is sometimes a good and a bad thing. So the fact that you get killer last-minute deals and it's expensive to get there, Game Time's the app to get. So promo code CHATSPORTS, $20 off. That link's available to you all down in the comments and in the description of today's show. Let's go to number three here as our surprise cut candidates. It's Byron Young at defensive tackle. Drafted in the third round. Of the 2023 NFL Draft was a member of the Josh McDaniels, Dave Ziegler regime. If cut, you know, the Raiders, you only save 446. You end up eating 842. But Byron Young has been bad. <laughs> like, Byron Young has been so bad that I'm almost waiting for somebody to start making a joke about it. Like, like Byron Young is not an anchor. He doesn't have anything that you're looking for in a defensive tackle right now. And for a dude that's got a 36.1 PFF grade this preseason, which that's 224th in the NFL right now, if you're going to be a defense that we've seen Patrick Graham go out there with three defensive tackles at one time, you need to have more solid of a rotation. And I do still think that there's obviously a chance that he ends up making this team. But Marquand McCall, Noah Shannon, Matthew Butler's not going to make it either. Nesta Jade Silvera has some of his own connections as well. If I'm Las Vegas, I'm trying to add somebody else to this defensive line because Byron Young's inability to anchor down, he's getting pushed back. I'm talking three, four yards down the field against backup caliber players. I got a report about three weeks ago that was like, oh, he's starting to get it. He's starting to be able to figure it out. I got to see it sooner or later because he was a player that did not show me a lot last season. Even when he was healthy, didn't show me a lot. Brand new regime is still yet to show me a lot. Byron, I need you to start showing me something because I would not be surprised at this point if he ended up getting cut. Before we get into the top two surprise cut candidates, Chugs and I are going to be in North Carolina September 7th and September 8th for a watch party. And if you know where Cary, North Carolina is, if you know where Raleigh is, that's where we're going to be. And if you enjoy what we do here, if you enjoy our watch parties, we're going to have over 100,000. Honestly, I think we're going to have over 200,000 Raiders fans screaming, carrying on partying it up with us on YouTube, but then we're also going to have tons, and I mean tons. My dad's going to be here. I think my mom's actually going to end up pulling up, which is crazy. And if you want to be able to interact with tons of Raiders fans live and in person, I can't guarantee you that I'm going to be singing. Maybe Chugs ends up singing, but there is games. There's a lot of different stuff to do besides just watching the Raiders game. I'm just saying it's going to be an amazing, amazing watch party. Get your tickets down below at chatsports.com slash week one. Tons of prizes on top of that. Bunch of TVs, bunch of beers on tap. The prizes, if you show up, you have a chance to win them for free. And I know last year they gave away, like, uh, they had some signed Bo Jackson stuff, some signed Josh Jacobs stuff. And if you show up, it's free to go to. You have the opportunity to win. I will say, if you do want to play some Top Golf with Chugs and I Saturday, 20 winners are going to be named. you got to buy your raffle tickets down below, chatsports.com slash topgolf. 
So please, if you do end up showing Saturday night, this is going to be an amazing event. Uh, there's probably going to be, I think, foods included. I think the, the drinks included. Chatsports.com slash Topgolf. The links are both available to you all down in the comments, down in the description. If you want to hang out with Chugs and I when the Raiders take down the Chargers on that Saturday and that Sunday, please pull up. It's going to be a hell of a movie. Let's go to number two here, and it's Luke Masterson. Again, these rankings are based on what would be the most surprising. And I think if Luke Masterson was cut by the Raiders, that would be more surprising than Byron Young, more surprising than Jalen Guyton, more surprising by Chris Smith. I, I still predict Masterson to make the team based on what I've seen right now. But if he were to be cut, it would surprise me. And if cut, it does end up saving the Raiders 985K. You eat only $3,000. And he played in only 24 defensive snaps the final five games. The reason why that's important to me is if I'm Antonio Pierce, who was also the linebackers coach, you would think that, you know, you want to see what your players are starting to do as you're, as you're the intern. But those final five weeks, AP knew if he wanted to be the head coach of this football team, he got to get the most out of those five weeks. And the fact that he didn't really play Masterson all that much, that's concerning for him. The Raiders drafted Tommy Eichenberg, Amari Gaynor. I might make a video like this of surprising players that could make the roster. You know what? I'll challenge y'all. If this video right here gets 1,000 likes, I'm going to make surprise players to end up making the roster. Amari Gaynor's 89.9 PFF grade is one of the highest in the NFL right now. Dude's going out there and covering. You guys know that I love a good coverage linebacker. And when you look at Masterson and the fact that this team's only using two linebackers, like, Eichenberg's going to make it. I think Amari Bernie ends up making it. And the more and more I watch this team, it would not shock me at all if they ended up only keeping four linebackers. And Bernie's good on special teams. Eichenberg can be that special teams guy as well. Kanai Mauga keeps finding his way on rosters. And for Masterson, somebody who didn't look very good against the Cowboys, didn't look very good at all against the Minnesota Vikings, he's on this list as a potential cut candidate. But let's go to number one here, and it's Tyree Wilson. It's probably why you tune into this show. And, you know, I'm just going to tell you off the bat, Tyree Wilson to me, I, I would put it at a 1% chance that he ends up getting cut. And quite frankly, I don't think that he ends up getting cut, but I do think him getting traded is a little bit more of a possibility simply because based off of what I have heard, Based off of what has been reported, ESPN NFL insider Jeremy Fowler reported yesterday that Tyree Wilson could be a player that, you know, like, he believes the Raiders should try to trade away. I'm a big fan, y'all know, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if the Raiders traded away, Tyree, you would save $1.9 million. You'd have to eat somewhere a little bit over three mil. And I don't want the Raiders to trade away Tyree Wilson. But I will say this. If Antonio Pierce is unwilling, if Patrick Graham is unwilling to move him inside a defensive tackle, then we have to entertain the idea because he's not going to be able to get it done on the outside. He doesn't have the burst. He doesn't have the acceleration. I have yet to see anything that inspires me any confidence that he's going to be able to be a consistent defensive end in the NFL. So the fact that there's going to be a team willing to go out there and maybe give you a decent round pick for him, you have to entertain the idea. 1% chance that he ends up getting cut. But then again, you know, the Raiders, I get it, it's McDaniels and Ziegler. They did cut Alex Otherwood. They ate $12 million because new regime, they wanted to move on. Could we see something similar with Tyree Wilson here? And I was asked this question on Twitter by Pirate Shank. Uh, are the Raiders really considering trading Tyree Wilson? Are they considering it based off what I know? No, I have not been told by anybody that the Raiders are considering trading Tyree Wilson, but I've been doing this thing long enough to know when there's a player like Tyree who's drafted number seven overall that has all the tools that you could possibly want, he just got to be able to put it together, there could be a team that would be willing to say, you know what, I can make Tyree Wilson work, and for that reason, it wouldn't shock me if the Raiders ended up trading him. I think if the Raiders were to make a trade right now that would really shake the waves out of all the players that you could talk about, Tyree Wilson is the most likely. So my question to everybody tuned in right now is, should the Raiders trade Tyree Wilson? Type yes, type no. Should the Raiders trade Tyree Wilson? My answer is, if depends what you get, okay? If a team offered me a fourth-round pick, maybe even a fifth-round pick for Wilson, I would consider it. Do I think that his ceiling is high? Of course I do. I think anybody that watches this show, okay, knows that Chugs and I are big-time Tyree Wilson fans. If the plan is to keep him and move him in at defensive tackle, my answer is no. I do not want to trade Tyree Wilson because I think that he's going to be able to figure it out. If the plan is to just continue to only put him out as an edge, 
then honestly, yeah, I would entertain the idea of trading Tyree Wilson. And if a team offered me a third-round pick, I would do it right now. I would trade Tyree Wilson for a third-round pick right now, and I'd go out and I'd try to add an edge, and I would try to add somebody also as a defensive tackle. That's what I would do. If a trade did end up going down, the number one team that would do it, and it's not close, is the, the Dallas Cowboys. The number two team I'll throw in there is the New York Jets, just based off some injuries that they've had. I think the Kansas City Chiefs, and, or excuse me, the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, they could do it as well. And if anybody's like, ah, there's no way a trade's going to happen in our division. I mean, we traded uh, Neil Farrell Jr. to Kansas City last offseason. So, and if I'm Kansas City, I'd be like, shit, I could make him work. New England Patriots is going to be another team since they decided to move on from Matthew Judon. Uh, the New York Jets, I have them in there if they decide to move on from Hassan Reddick and can't get a deal done. So that's all the deals. Those are all the destinations. But again, he's got a 52.8 PFF grade this season. And I'm saying this, and it's painful for me because Tyree's a player that Chuggs and I have met. Tyree's a player that has agents down here. I got some good connections here with Wilson. And this one does beat me up a little bit because we have been big, big believers in Tyree. But I think I speak on behalf of, you know, the nation. And if I'm not speaking for you, please call me out on it. There has to be a time where we go, okay, when is it going to happen? When are we going to see something? And I mean something that inspires me to give a little bit of confidence that Tyree Wilson isn't going to be a bust. And I just haven't seen it yet. So if the teams want to give me a third-round pick, I'm doing it. If the teams want to give me a fourth-round pick, I'll definitely consider it. And quite frankly, I think if a team did offer the Raiders a fourth or a fifth, the Raiders would consider it as well. So one more time here. Here are Raiders surprise cut candidates. Five all the way down to one. Tyree Wilson would be my, I mean, by far the most surprising. And again, there is a 1% chance that this ends up happening. I, I really only put him on the show simply because that I, I think it's more of a trade where you'd see like a report come out saying the Raiders are entertaining the idea of cutting Tyree Wilson and then a team would make a trade for it. And I, what I want you all to remember is, remember a few years ago we were like, Raiders are going to trade Gabe Jackson. Raiders are, or Raiders are going to cut Gabe Jackson. Raiders are going to cut Rodney Hudson. And then a few hours later, a trade ended up getting through. I think that that could be a certain situation that you see with Tyree Wilson. Now, if that happened, you wouldn't get a lot for him, but it, it's got to be talked about. Tyree needs to be able to step it up. Jeremy Fowler's talking about it. I've been talking about it now for a few days. And based off the information that I have received, Tyree Wilson, don't think he gets cut, but I'm not going to say it's impossible that he gets traded away. And that's why he ends up making the show here on my Raiders surprise cut candidates.